let's make sure that we're always handling errors with Superbase. And if there is an error with this query, then this error object will be returned. So for now, let's log this out if there is an error. So above this if statement, we can just do if error and we'll just log out error and save that. And to simulate an error, we can just change the name of this table here to a table that doesn't exist. So I'll just add a Z to the end of that and save that and reload. And we see this error being logged out. And this has an error code and an error message. And we're going to be handling lots of error messages with Superbase in this store and in other stores as well. So let's create a composable, which we can reuse throughout our app to display an error message in a dialog. So I'm going to jump back to the Explorer here and to source and use where all of our composables live. Uh, I'm just going to duplicate this user mount color class composable with the duplicate action extension. Um, we're going to call this use show error message dot JS. Uh, let's change the name of this function to the same thing. Use show error message. And this is going to accept a message as a string. Uh, we can use Quasar's dialogue plugin to display a dialogue. And I think we already have the dialogue plugin installed. If we jump to the quasar.config.js file in the root of our project and this plugins array, we can see we already have this dialogue plugin. So let's jump back to this composable and I'll just jump to the Quasar doc site and we'll go to Quasar plugins and dialogue and scroll down. So outside of a view file, we can just import this dialogue module from Quasar and then use this dialogue.create method. Help me out with a quick like, comment, share, or subscribe. So let's copy this line here, this import line, uh, paste it to the top of this composable and uh, get rid of everything inside this function. And instead we'll just fire dialogue.create. And this is gonna expect an object. And if you wanna find out all of the properties you can pass in here, then just jump to the dialogue API section of this page and methods, uh, create. Uh, and you can see all of the options available here, but we're just going to use the title property to set the title of the dialogue and the message property to set the message of the dialogue. So let's jump back to this dialogue.create method and this object, and um, we'll add a property called title and we'll just set this to error and we'll add this message property and we'll set this to message, which we're passing into this function. But since this variable name is the same as this object property name, we can shorthand this by just setting this to message like so. So let's save this and jump back to our entry store. Uh, let's import this new composable. So we'll jump to the top and we'll import this here. So import use show error message from source slash use slash use show error message. Uh, we should now be able to use this composable. So let's jump back to the load entries action. And here's where we're handling the error for this query where we load all of the entries. And as we saw before, this error object has a message property which we could pass to our composable. So instead of logging out this error, let's use our composable. So use show error message and pass in error dot message and save that. Uh, let's reload the app and um, we now see this error message in a dialogue relation public dot entries z does not exist so before we move on let's just correct this table name here set that back to entries save and reload and we now once again see our entries displayed on the page get the full course including authentication row level security and policies database functions and triggers storage edge functions and running superbase locally from makeappsacademy.com or click the link in the description